My name is Patrick Bias, and I'm an actor and a filmmaker. What you're watching right now is some of the work that I've been in and some of the work that I've created. I've decided that I want to show people what I'm actually doing on a daily basis while pursuing my dreams and balancing my life. Uh, audition, which is a series regular on the new Netflix show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But the thing is, my aunt is giving birth tomorrow. My nigga, if you ain't copping, you ain't got no business around the fucking spot. Fuck you, ain't ready. So right now, I'm on my way to Chink's funeral. He's an artist who was with French Montana's uh, Coke Boys group. He got murdered in his, in his Porsche recently. So I'm gonna go over there, just pay some respect to him, and there might be a lot of people, so hopefully I'll be able to at least get in. I like I like I like Chink's music a whole lot. I listen to his his music, uh, some of his music before I go to an audition. It's cool, you know, it just helped me get my mind right. And a lot of what he was saying, especially coming from, uh, you know, similar neighborhoods growing up in the hood, what people call it. So it's kind of sad to know someone who was just trying to make something happen with their life, you know, that life just get taken away, especially when they're and they're on a positive route as far as trying to make a difference and trying to do something with themselves. Why do people kill people for? Why do people feel like it is okay to take someone's life? We are not God, we're not God. It is not cool to take someone's life. I had an opportunity to work with Chinks whose funeral that I'm going to right now about two years ago. I shot some uh, footage for his music video with that feature Wale on it. And when I heard that Jinx had passed away, I was in Oklahoma and I was like, dang man, are you serious? This dude had his whole future ahead of him. This dude had like, he was so talented. I didn't know him personally. I didn't get a chance to meet him personally. But this dude right here was on the verge of changing things for his family, for the people that's probably around him. And it's just so unfortunate that you have to die at an early age. I don't understand how when bad things happen, when a cop, when a cop kills an African American, the world goes berserk. The world goes crazy. But when there's like black on black crime or or ethnic or ethnic crime, it's not taken as serious. It's like Another thing that it's just another person that passed away and nobody ever wants to do anything about it to speak up about it to try to put an actual end to this. Tupac passed away, he got shot. Biggie got killed. It's just like, what can we do to stop the violence and to stop people from killing people? who's trying to do something with themselves. I lost my god brother, who was pretty well known around my neighborhood in the Bronx. He died in early 2000. He's playing a dice game on the street with his friends. And I'll never forget when we had dropped him off that day and I was on my way to Atlanta when my, when my aunt was driving and we had dropped him off gave us a hug, tell, told us that he loved us. And then we get that call that he got stabbed. That some ignorant ass person, asshole, jerk, took his life. 
all over a dice game. Over a dice game. That shit broke my heart. Dwayne always had my back. Whenever he used to ride around, walk around, he used to come, yo, Pat, you want something from the store? Come drop like five dollars on me. I got a full bag of my of my uh peanut chews and the the the, the, the penny candies, uh my my quarter waters. I was stocked up. He used to come through, give me the walkie-talkies, everything. I love Dwayne. But his life fell short. This of the perception on uh, the aggression that is portrayed amongst African Americans and people of color. We gotta start from within ourselves. So today, what I'm doing is, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna speak to a bunch of different people and I'm gonna become friends with a lot of new people. And the purpose of this is, is to hopefully spread the message, spread a message that if you live in the hood area or if you live wherever, if you meet somebody new, you shake their hands. You shake their hands. If they feel uncomfortable, you shake their hands. If you if you if you acknowledge a new person, you shake their hands. If you're new to a new block, if you're new to a new territory, area, wherever, you shake the person's hand. You smile, you become friends with them. You become cool. And you let them know that everything is all right. So nobody will second guess your character. So I feel like that's the first step we need to do. We have to acknowledge the problems. We have to acknowledge the perception that's, that, that, that the media portrays on us and we have to attack the core and we have to do something about it. So, I'm on my way to pay respects to Chinks. And I feel like that we, that we all have to get together and we have to become better and let go of that negativity and start fresh. This is real sad right now. Real sad. It's just the saddest thing ever, man. Young boy loves. Can't hear me, he got yeah. shimmies and cash. Since they can't stack front is built, I relocated my children. We gotta see value in each other. I mean, to go out there and take another brother's life, that just shows you don't really see no value in that man's life as a black man. You know what I'm saying? It's a reflection of how you look at yourself. We don't see no value in each other. We don't see no value in ourselves. That's right. what we gotta change. Right. This is a slow process. I think we're heading in the right direction. And stuff like this, as unfortunate as it is, it, it only brings us closer. You know what I'm saying? Because we all out here to show our respect. So we starting to see value. You know what I'm saying? This is. You can see the turn that camera the other way. You see value. That's value in a black man right here. I'm right here. You gotta take that. It don't have to be on a respect set. Dude's not a rapper or a drug dealer. Nah, playing dudes, somebody wanna get a school. That's what's respectful. They lame is. You know what I'm saying? They try to conform to that. Patrick, I'm doing a vlog and I'm just talking about right now about non-violence. So I feel like, what do you feel like as far as to stop the violence, what might help? Uh, a talk of black on black violence, I don't, I don't, I think that's like a myth because you don't never hear white on white violence. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You never hear, you never hear white on white violence, but you always hear black on black violence. 
they kill each other at a higher rate than we kill each other. I'm not saying it's right, but I mean that's something to be mentioned. Right. I don't. I don't necessarily. I think when you when you put people in the in the situation in these in the communities and in these ghettos, and you don't give them any opportunities, then they're going to lash out. Right. And then when you have somebody make it, you have somebody make it out. You have somebody make it out, then of course they they want to come back to show that it can be done. But they they're they're real. They can be touched. It's not a myth. So then when then that's the situation. A lot of us will come back, and then you know there'll be a situation that happened with shit. Right. I feel like in order for a lot of that misconception to get switched. Mm -hmm. When certain, when African Americans or people of color go to certain neighborhoods, right. I feel like when you feel uncomfortable in a certain neighborhood, to make that switch up, we should shake each other's hand. Just like how I came up to you, I said, "What's up, man? How you doing?" Like right. we need to start doing that because then that leaves like that aggression to be gone and shows like we have that mutual respect for each other. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know that that has to be taught. It has to be learned. You know, because, you know what, and I'm going to just say this, I, a lot of the times that's like a, a New York thing, you know, because you go down south, you know, you go down south, they greet each other, you know, they don't have to know you, you know what I'm saying, they say, how you doing sir, ma'am, you know, and all of that, I right. say, a lot of the times in New York, we're, you know, we're taught to be cold to the ice grill. Right. You know, that's how, we, that's what we learn. Right, right, I'm taking this right here serious because... All right. I'm tired of seeing African Americans get killed out here, man. What's up, man? I'm tired of seeing them get killed doing, by the police. Yeah, I'm tired of seeing. The thing is, like, the thing is, I don't understand. You could come here. What's your name? Kai. Kai. Yeah. Anybody from Far Rockaway, anybody from Queens, anybody from New York City area, know that we lost that bunch. You feel what I'm saying? Word. To the type of same situation. And just to lose somebody else like Chase Drugs, that's such an early come up. You know what I'm saying? It's heartbreaking. You know what I mean? Not for just his friends, his family, for the whole town, for the whole community, for the whole place, for the whole New York City, for the whole world. You feel what I'm saying? This is the guy that... I'm, I'm talking to people right now on this misconception about African Americans and people of color of how we're portrayed in the media as being aggressive right. and how we are looked at upon or frowned upon right. based off of our parents. Right, right, right. So I'm promoting right now is I feel like if we go to certain hoods or certain areas, I'm from the South Bronx, I've been living in New Jersey for a while, okay. that in order for that to stop, when you see an unfamiliar face in your town or something like that, right. You approach them and you shake the hand, just like I'm right. shaking your hand right now. What's Definitely. up, fam? We just you get what I'm saying. Just now. We just met each other no just now. No racial profiling. Right. I don't know what he does. He doesn't know what I do, but it's all love. And all that love. Be with everybody. You understand what I'm right. saying? Right. He's, he's he's pushing something that we all gotta see. You feel know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what a person has on, what he's affiliated with. It's all love. All this, love. There's too many of us dying for senseless reasons. You understand what I'm saying? This is a guy that had a family. You know, a guy that was putting on for his fellow African American brothers that came from the struggle. Right. This guy had a past, cleaned up his past, and helped clean other people's pasts up through music, through, through, through love, through happiness. Right. He gave us in our town hope because we lost that not too far along ago. You understand what I'm saying? There's people in our neighborhood that are saying, "What's the next hero?" You understand what I'm saying? Right. We're losing people that people look up to that are in tens and teens and twenties and thirties that people still look up to. So it's a shame. You know, we gotta change it. We right. gotta change it. We gotta change it. I have a question and can y'all do it too? I'm Pat. What's up, Pat? Alright. Pat. What's good? Pat. What's up, Pat? Pleasure. Can we if you see an unfamiliar face, and I'm gonna I'm gonna post this online. If you see an unfamiliar face in your territory or where you're from, whatever. Can y'all shake their hands or greet them with love and make them feel comfortable that you know we're all here for love that's and we want to live? Let's say that again. We live in the same vicinity, so it's like it's not to knock nobody down. It's exactly. Each other up. Right. And even if it is somebody that's not from your area, introduce them to your area. Let them know where they are. Let them know that it is love. Because I'm right. sure if you see somebody that you don't know, you can't hate them because you don't know. Them. Why not? Let them know who you are. Let them know who you're around and what's going on in that neighborhood. They right. may be lost. They may need you to help them more than you think that they're even attacking you or able to try to attack you. Right. So not everybody is a bad person. They're not everybody is a bad person. World, but not everybody's a bad person. You gotta realize that and everybody has to turn around.
Rest in peace to Chinks Drugs. Your lady will live on through us. You know what I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. We have the power to change things. And it's up to us. Let's do it. So this is my god brother. This is my god brother Dwayne that I was talking about. They call him Black Jesus. In one of my previous videos, I've spoken a little bit about him. Feel me locked up for me, man. Mostly everybody out here is gone. My nigga gone, gone. They just shot my nigga. They shot the other dude. They shot that we that we cut. Oh, we know him tomorrow. They call him Black Jesus. And I want to speak more about him right now again because. Chink's death reminded me of my god brother's death. Dying over stupidity. It's like, this violence just need to come to an end. It's really hurtful to deal with the death of someone who you really, really genuinely care about. And it really sucks. I'll never forget the day when it was me, my aunt, and my cousin. We were, we were um, dropping them off. We dropped them off on the street over here, right here in the middle of the street. And that was the last time I spoken or, or heard from Dwayne. And we get a call saying Dwayne has got killed, he got stabbed. crazy. It's really crazy. So Dwayne, he was playing, he was playing dice right here. And this is where he got killed. Right here on this corner. Rest in peace to my god brother. Rest in peace to change. Stop the violence, man. Please watch some of our previous videos. Also, like, share, and subscribe. Pull up to the venue with my old bitch. Flocko finally made it, so you know I bought them all. 12 hit the trap, shook it down, wall to wall. But we already skated on our way to Baltimore. Motherfuck them all, tell them bitches get the dog. Booking on the interstate, I'm bailing with them bricks. Cooking with the flour, hit me if you need the fish. Bottom of the night.